I've already logged into uh, the application, and um, we have a nice front screen here that basically kind of gives you a little bit of uh, information as far as uh, invoices and uh, where they happen to be in the various queues that we have available within TimberScan. What I'm going to do is you can either choose from the, the menu here or from the menu here at the top, and I will open up uh, the invoices that are routed to me. I think one of the key things to uh, just kind of explain or describe here is that think of this as basically just an extension of what a user would do on the desktop. Pretty much all, I, I can't think of any of the functionality that the desktop allows you that you cannot do on, uh, on TimberScan Go. So I'm looking at the invoices that are routed to me. They're in this card view format, which uh, somewhat similar to what uh, the users experienced with TimberScan Mobile. I'll choose, for example, this uh, Beaverton Sand and Gravel. One of the options that I could do if uh, I had all the information that I needed and really didn't need to dig into this in any details, I can just click on the Approve button, and I can approve it right from here. But if I choose that particular uh, invoice, which is just selecting that particular image, I bring up the image. I have the way that the invoice has been coded on the header information over here on the right-hand side. If the user has access to any of these fields and can make any modifications, uh, they're able to go in and do so. So if I made a change, for example, to the uh, description, I just go ahead and make that change here. Uh, across the top are a series of functional buttons that I can use. I'll start with distributions. So if I click on the distributions, I see that I have a distribution already in play here, which would be typical for an approver. I'll just go ahead and call this up, and it allows me to go through and see what the distribution is at this point. If, as an approver, if I needed to make any changes, for example, if I needed to switch and go to uh, you know, a different job or a different commitment or a different cost code, all of those things are available. Again, it's just taking uh, the data from uh, Sage 300 and from TimberScan exactly the same way as if I were on the desktop. Just go ahead and make whatever change I need to make. If I needed to add another transaction, you just select the Add button, and I can just go through and I can start creating another transaction right from here. I can call up my commitments and then select whatever items I need from that commitment, and it just goes through and it starts filling in the information. Again, any changes that I need to make along the way, I can make any of those modifications. So it's, in essence, there, there's no restriction other than what the user is limited to with respect to their particular security. So if a user can add line items, if they can make modifications to an existing line item, all of those things are available here. Uh, other things that I can do, now, at this point, all I've done is I've made those modifications. If I click on the Save button here, that means I've saved whatever modifications I made. And I could, in essence, just get out of the screen and move on or look at another invoice or do whatever I want to do. I'm not going to save this just yet, yet, and I'll explain why here in a few moments. Other things that I can do, uh, I can view notes. So anything that's happened so far, I can see. If I needed to add a note to this particular uh, invoice, I can do so. So if I wanted to say something like that, just go ahead and do that, add the note, it's now added. Um, again, any of the functionality that the user has on the desktop, they're going to have here as well. So if I can approve, if I can reject, if I can put an invoice on hold, I can do all of those things here. If uh, I don't happen to have hold an AP activated for this user, but if I did, that particular function would be available as well. I can email. So I can select who I want to send this to, just like on the desktop. I can attach a copy of the invoice if I need to, and then I can send that particular email out to whomever it needs to go to. I'm looking at summary information here, I'm basically just seeing some you know, some of the basics as far as the, the invoice. So if, for example, I just wanted to go in and quickly look and see, uh, you know, what jobs and cost codes were associated with this without actually having to drill, uh, dig into the distributions, I can do so. I can look at vendor information from here also. 
So just some basics about this particular vendor. Um, any of those uh, insurance warnings that the user would get on the desktop, they'll get here as well. So I think I've probably said this at least uh, uh, several times already, but I think uh, hopefully what uh, you're able to see is that basically what TimberScan Go provides is in essence any of the functionality that, uh, that the user can experience um, on the desktop they can do here. We can do annotations, so if we wanted to put a, a sticky note on this we could do so, or if we just wanted to draw something on here we can do those types of things as well. All the annotation tools are available. We can freehand, so if I wanted to put something on here like this, uh, you can do all those things. They can be removed if need be. Um, and now if, let's say I wanted to go ahead and approve this particular invoice. When I do that at this point, what it does is it will then prompt me to say, do I want to go through and save those particular changes? So what I did is I put some annotations on this, and I made some data changes. Uh, remember, I put uh, a description on the invoice, and I also added another line item. So at this point, if I want, I can say, let's go ahead and do this. I'm not going to save the annotations, but if I just save the data chain changes, I can say OK, and then that particular invoice uh, will be approved with those changes, but without the annotations. So it's kind of nice that as I'm going through, it's recording and it's tracking everything that I'm doing. And then when I'm ready to finish, or approve, at that point, it then stops and says, okay, are you sure you want to include those particular uh, changes or functions with, uh, with that particular change? So that's, now I've brought this up, you know, in the browser, as you can see, I'm on my desktop, I could be on a tablet, for example. Let me just switch here for a moment. Um, I'm gonna go back to the, invoices themselves and you may see some uh, kind of crazy looking stuff over here on the right hand side for a moment but what I wanted to do is show how we can um, use this using a, a phone um, you know uh, an iPad or what have you so let's let's go to iPad first okay so here's the iPad version um, I'll make this a little bit bigger so that we can see it better here but uh, pretty straightforward. Everything kind of fits on the screen here very easily. Again, I can just go into any one of those particular invoices. And, um, you know, now all of that functionality that we talked about before is available to me here. So I can, uh, I can approve off of here. I can uh, do or add any distributions from here. All of the same functionality. If I were looking at this on go to an iPhone X, see how it changes the user experience. Now in this case, because of the fact that obviously there's a little bit less, um, and I'll make this just a little bit bigger so we can see it a little better here. Okay. Actually, let me shrink it back down just so we can play with this a little bit. Okay. So in, in this case, because of the fact that, you know, I, I don't have enough real estate necessarily on the iPhone to be able to display all of those uh, functional buttons across the top. I have a, t a little tab here that lets me do the same thing. So down here at the bottom, I can just, uh, you know, I can touch the tab, I can email, I can put on hold, I can reject, I can add a note. So regardless of what particular um, type of mobile device I'm using, all of those same things are available to me. If I want to just click on the image, I can open the image. If I want to look at the header information, it's all available to me. So it's very nice in terms of how it just, you know, fits whatever type of um, mobile device that we're working on. Let's me just select either from the, the bottom here, as you see, or from the top, and then I can just go through and I can start, um, you know, making whatever my modifications are. 